Well, hello everybody. It's been a long time since you've seen this desktop, haven't you? Now, I haven't done this in a while, but yeah. A few up. It's an update of sorts. A lot of things have been happening, of course, and as you can see, ooh, there have been a lot of games I haven't touched in a while. A lot of games I have done, and a lot of games I have done. Most of them being LP related or otherwise. But I might as well update you on what's been going on. And um, if you see, if you see Skype just popping in, popping in and out, don't worry about that. I doubt anybody's going to just show up out of the blue and say, oh, "Hey, Izzy." Just saying. But as you can see, yeah, most of my games have filled up the filled up most of my um, screensaver or most of my desktop. Anyway, as you can see, these are all the games that I personally own. Now, I'm going to be honest. Some I'm going to take off right after I'm done with them. Now, what does, what does that mean? That doesn't mean I'm going to delete them. I'm just going to take them off because if I'm finished with it or I'm just not playing with it anymore, why the fuck should I have it on my desktop, right? Except for those that are there, as you can see, well, you can't, see, well, you could kind of see it, but, like, this stuff right here, like, uh, my NES, SNES, and, um, DS, and even all these games, all these things I'm highlighting right here, the Magic Engine, the SNES, uh, the DS, my NES, and the, it, it, Genesis, and even my arcade games. All these are still going to stay around. Oh, yes, and my virtual boy. I almost forgot about that. All these are going to stay around, of course, because, like, like, I've, like I've shown before, I do mostly nostalgic video games, even from yesteryear. A few things I want to catch you up on. This is done, so I'm going to keep this around because there's a, there's a sequel and an, and another part of the game that I'm going to go through, and that's going to be next month in in December. A lot of th a lot of games that I plan to do for next year that I haven't that that I have plans for. They might be done sooner than expected, but they'll most likely be ready for say the month the month ahead. Or so. Currently, of course, you can see I'm working on Final Fantasy VII. And for those who like it, thank you. I I appreciate the support that you're giving this that the, that you're giving this game. I'm just gonna let you guys know right now that a It's going to have a lot of part, a lot of long parts. So therefore, don't start complaining about how long it is and you know, don't 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 complain about it. At least it's being done. Be happy about that. Okay? Final Fantasy 7 is probably one of the most sought after games besides 8 besides people who don't like 8 only because of a of the freaking junction system. And I'll say this before, if I have not seen this, if I'm not seen, if I'm not said this before, I will take on eight. I will not break it. I will play it as it was meant to be played because too many people complain about the goddamn game because of HC fucking Bailey. So nobody gets a rat's ass. Okay, let's just let's just get that out of the way. Personally, I have a few games that have been have glog material all over it. For one, Puzzle Kingdoms is one of them. Puzzle Kingdom is one of those games that plays like, oh, Puzzle Quest, except that, you well, know, you're just doing the same thing, only in a larger scale. Shank, of course, I've already beaten, and Shank 2, I am currently still work, I'm still playing on my own time. Uh, the Chaos Engine. Chaos Engine is basically the original version of Soldiers of Fortune, which I probably will do the SNES version. 
pretty soon. Don't know when. Uh, let's see, the other games that I have. I, I, I'm going to say this, Sonic Adventure DX, I'm putting on hiatus. I'm not that I'm going to stop it, per se, but really, I'm just going to go on hiatus because I can't really do, like, everything. Well, I mean, I could do it, but mm, from that last time, I, I just, that nearly blew me out, so therefore, yeah. Uh, next game, Torchlight 2. I still plan on working on, uh, I still plan on doing Torchlight 2, although I haven't had the time to actually play it or have the energy for it. So therefore, Torchlight 2, that's going on my, that's going on my back, backlog list. That's, that's going to be in the far future. Viking Battle for Asgard. Yes, this is a good game. And yes, I plan to do this. I plan to really just do this game. As you've seen me do it in a... In a um, Tenkaichi file episode, as I was, as it was entitled about motivation, so I plan to do an LP of this. So hopefully nobody actually feels bored by looking at by the way. Oh, this, this this game is too so shit. Yeah, when nobody asks you. Okay, this game, one or less rebirth. I plan to finish this and just get this off my hard drive. <laughs> I'm serious. We tried. We tried doing this, but it takes like um, it takes like a server for us to actually do co-op. So after I'm done with this game, I'm I'm really going to take it off. You know, I'm just going to take it off my um, hard drive because I can't delete it. I'm just going to take it off my hard drive because after I'm done with it, you know, there's no real reason for me to keep it. E's Origin. I'm going to get you back, Ryu. <laughs> oh, Ryu, always. Oh, Ryu, I'm going to get you back when I do this game. I will give it the, I will give it the justice it so deserves. E's Origins plays a bit like um, Ophel Ghana, except I'm working with three people instead of one. And the last time I actually beat this game, I beat it with Unikatova. And um, that was the only character I've actually beaten with the game. So therefore, when I actually do the game, it's gonna be one of those big, big projects. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just gonna be one of those big, big projects. Um, uh, let's see, what else is there? Uh, yes, this game, Zack Zero. I'm gonna be honest. It reminds me of Max Steel. I'm serious, the character freaking looked like Max Steel. I played the game, I played a little bit of the game, and let me tell you, it feels like I'm playing Max Steel. Now, other games that are included on this list, uh, I've already shown you Fairy Bloom Freesia, it's, it's basically a sandbag game, which I plan to do before um, my break. It's gonna be, um, it's gonna be part of a whole freaking sequence uh, December game, so therefore it's going to be crazy in December. <sighs> depending on if I, it, depending on if I'm if I put certain games on hiatus, because if they're if they become too long, I'm just going to say you know what I'm going to try to put in push as many as I can, and then go on break and then come back to it. And my break is probably going to be two weeks, no uh, no longer than three, just two weeks. Because let me tell you, I am going to basically just give myself a break because I, I deserve it. And, you know, you know, among all the games that I've been playing, you know, it's just been, you know, hectic. Uh, let's see. A fist puncher. I've been kind of thinking about fist puncher. But, um, I don't know. Those one is kind of funky, so I don't know. Uh, should I do foul play as a co-op? I might consider it. But then again, who be willing to co-op with me throughout the entirety of um, whenever I feel like playing foul play again? Hmm. <sighs> uh, let's see. 
Yes, I'm working my way around, okay? Gary's mod. Hmm. I've tried it once. That's all I'm going to say. I tried it once. Of course, I'm playing... Of course, you have to play it with... With, um, keyboard or... Or keyboard and mouse and... It's a, it's a strange one. I'm, I, I'm not going to lie. It's a very strange thing. It's stranger than Minecraft. I'll, I'll give it that. It is stranger than Minecraft. Because I, I, I have really no clue. I mean, the only time I've actually played it was with Big and Sheena. But, but that's about it. I haven't touched it since. Uh, I, 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 just, I just got mixed feelings about it. Everything that I've, I've ever seen about this game. So don't say, oh, hey, you just tried. No. No, I'm letting you know right now. I've only tried it once. I will call it a specialty, okay? I will call it a specialty and just do one thing on it. One thing on it. Otherwise, do not come to me about Gary's Mod, okay? I've done it once. If I do it again, it's only for a specialty. Like perhaps April. Because that's the only time I actually give a shit about doing something stupid or crazy. That doesn't make me stupid or crazy. That just makes me outright insane. Next! <laughs> Next. I said, I said my piece about it. I didn't say I hated it. I just said it once. I mean, that's a game that I would have to really just be in the mood for, if if you would call it that. Guacamelee! Definitely Cinco de Mayo. Definitely going to be a Cinco de Mayo thing. <clears throat> I'm going through all this because I feel the need to really go through everything. And just to tell you why I'm going through all these games and whatnot. Um, Hammerwatch is an RCO thing. We haven't actually beaten Hammerwatch yet. Well, probably, I might do Hammerwatch solo and co-op, depending, because, well, in order to actually beat Hammerwatch, you have to get all the planks. So, therefore, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling the fact that we would have to do the game entirely over just to get the planks. And that way, you know, you have to escape. Uh, 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 let's see, next is, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to Jet Set Radio because, once again, that's a, that's a Glock type of game, I don't really have anything to say about it, I just use it to talk about my life. Uh, we're done Hammerwatch, Left for Dead, that's just going to be an RCO thing, right, right there, that's RCO, straight up RCO, because... You can find anything weird in Left 4 Dead, and probably, and probably on the side I might do Left 4 Dead 1, just, you know, just as, just as, um, to say I'll be ready for next, next year, uh, next year, mm. let's see. Uh, the Lego games. We got Lego, Star Wars Saga, Indiana Jones, the original Avengers, and Indiana Jones 2. I might consider getting Lego Marvel superheroes. Just because I like Lego games. I kind of really wish um, Lego Batman was on there. I think Lego Batman's on Steam. I'm not certain. But you will definitely see my Steam list. Oh yes, this video... I plan to take a time out from a short time out on how many and what what kind of games I have and you know it's kind of crazy and whatnot. Oh uh, yes, this is the Lego games. I plan to do Lego games. Um, Retro City Rampage. If I'm not up, uh, uh, Retro City Rampage. Retro City Rampage. Plan to do that on my own time. That that's a game that I you know I. Would just say I would have time to do on my own time. You know, if I'm not doing anything, I'm just gonna be playing around, 
been dicking around for... <sighs> Let's see. Um, I've already done Shank. Shank, Shank 2. I'm not sure if I'm going to LP it. If I do Shank 2, I'm just going to say this. They downgraded his power. I swear I swear to God. They down... They nerfed his power. They nerfed everything about him. And I don't know. Just... I don't know. It just kind of made it harder in which they just nerfed his power. Just because I, I... I do like... I do like... I do like, uh... Shank, but, you know... I kind of wish they didn't do that. Oh, let's see. King of Fighters... Uh, uh, yeah, the King of Fighters, I think, 20, uh, 20, oh, I forgot, 2013, King of Fighters 13, yeah, the King of Fighters 13, King of Fighters 13, plan to finish it, because all that's left is the freaking story, and, you know, once you complete the story, that that's pretty much it, that, I mean, that that's a fighting game, and, well, fighting games have little to no story, if at all. And so, therefore, there's not much I can possibly say about that. Um, let's see. To the Moon. I've said my piece about To the Moon a few months, uh, about a month or so ago. And I was, I, I, I am really looking forward to the sequel of To the Moon. Really. I really want, I really like to do more of games like this in which... I don't really have to do much except tell a story. Like Super Robot Tyson D, all I'm doing is telling a story. I'm not really acting. It's not like Jay in which, you know, I'm re I'm going through character and, you know, character like I'm straight up in an anime. But I'm reading more of a story. I'm reading more about what the story entails so that people won't be asking, well, what's the story about? Because you would get people that would wonder, why am I reading the story? Because I'm, because I don't want people to wonder, why the fuck am I talking about this story? The game should tell you by itself, but you want to know what the story is about. So therefore, I'm giving you a story. It's free entertainment. Look it up, bitches. Ah, to the moon. Yeah, yeah. I, I, re I really do want to see the sequel. When it comes out on Steam, I am definitely buying it. Especially if it goes on sale, I am definitely buying the hell out of that game. Oh, Vindictus, as you know, I've been really just leveling up really fast. Cause that, and Vindictus, you can actually level up pretty damn fast in the game. And um, the thing about Vindictus is, well... It costs you money to actually run a guild. It costs you. It actually costs you. It costs you actual money to to um, just run the guild. So therefore, it's like uh, I would I would really just need some karma coin just to just to help run the guild so more so more people can join. So yes, random co-op is indeed a guild on Vindictus. <laughs> it and once again, thank you, Mag. <laughs> Man, I just like, okay, here you go, 287-something. I was like, okay, 280-something thousand gold. And all I would need to do is just scrape up some uh, scrape up some gold from dungeons. That I mean, that's the only thing. And then after that, once you give out the, once you give the gold out, because like I said, it, 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 the guild is a mission. To make the guild is a mission in within itself, so you would have to get three hundred thousand gold, be level twenty, and then you can, and then after that, once you turn the the gold the gold in, you have unlocked the guild option. So therefore, you can become your own guild. So all you need is just karma coin just to open the guild, just to open everything up on just open everything up. And pretty much that's it, which is a good thing because you know I want to keep it small but close to anybody who wants to join, but only people that we know. 
from from our group is going to be able to join. It's like, we won't just take anybody. You know? It's not like Elsor, you know. It's like Elsor, we don't did the same thing, except, um, shit, took about <laughs> one, one million L dollars or so. And we couldn't put, and we couldn't do random co-op there because Elsor is like, mm, you gotta be proper. So, Lords of Otaku is what I came up with. Anyway, um, let's see. Another game that I feel I'm going to be doing in the not so distant future. Um, let's see. Um, I know about Chronicles of Dark Lord, or for people wondering, yeah, I'm still doing Chronicles of Dark Lord. I just. I just have the seven game policy. You see, whatever kind of game that comes in, I'm basically cycling through it. So therefore, it's like, it's a seven game, you know, a seven game list that I have. So it, whether it's short or it's long, it's going to take presence. But it, I haven't forgotten about Chronicles or Dark Lord. I just got a lot of games. I just need to really backlog and finish. And Chronicles of Dark Lord is one of those games that are... That is going to definitely be backlog as special priority and going to be finished before this year is done. So yeah, that's yeah, that's that's that. I haven't forgotten, so therefore don't don't trip, don't worry, it's gonna be finished. It's gonna be finished before I take break. <clears throat> uh let's see. Uh yeah. I said cost and quest is gonna be for December because um there's a there's a special there's a special DLC mission in which um, that can that you can only do around Christmas time. And I do mean you have to do it on Christmas. It's just like Nights in the Dreams, which is which also has Christmas nights, and the only time you actually have to do this is around Christmas time. So therefore, Christmas nights and Grubbins on Ice, which is part of Costume Quest, will both be done by Christmas, or around Christmas. If I haven't shown Pac-Man Championship um, Edition DX, uh, uh, well, you've already know what Pac-Man is. It's Pac-Man. And of course, I've... I find it really good because it's like... It's a game that I could just basically use as pre-recorded. Because I usually... Because, you know, I re usually just play the game and, you know, just... Do the best I can in it, and that that's about it. It's just like one of my games that just one of my stress relievers. I say, yeah, Vindicus is one stress reliever, but I have more. I have Pac Man. Um, let me see, Dungeons and Dragons, Dungeons and Dragons. I possibly will do that on my own time. Try to finish it and get and get most of the um, achievements on my own time. Just because, just because. Uh, yes, I'm moving up the ladder. Forgive me. Deadpool. Nothing much. That's all I'm gonna say. Deadpool. Deadpool. I'm definitely doing for June uh, next year, since it, it, since June I, I I dub as Comic Book Month. Why do I dub it Comic Book Month? Because um, the funny thing is. Around June, usually what happens around June or May is that here, here in California, there is such a day as Free Comic Book Day, and it's, for, and it's probably in some other parts of um, the U.S. that actually has this. It's 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 an actual day for you know free you know you get free comic books. So therefore. Either around May or June is comic book is free comic book day. So as an homage to this, May or June will be considered comic book month. May and or June, I should say. Oh, let me move up a ladder again. 
Dead Rising 2. Been playing this on my own. Been playing this on my own time. I have the 360 version. And I had to say, I do better on this version than the 360 version because the 360 version is kind of sluggish. This, not so sluggish. So that's a good thing. There are some games that that I can do so much better on here than I than being on the 360. Dead Rising 2 is one of those games I can actually do better. And maybe it might be a possible co-op. Possible co-op because it is such a good game. And plus you need somebody capable to back your ass up in a pinch. So let's see. Crazy Taxi, you already know that. That's Glog material. Jet Set Radio is also Glog material. Retro City Rampage might also be Glog material. Again, there are a lot of games that I'm definitely going to try to cover and possibly beat. Okay, we move down to Evil Land. Evil Land is one of those games, but basically it's a throwback. And being that it's a throwback game, I am definitely going to do it. I'm definitely going to do it next year. Because um, I, 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 I feel it, it, if this game needs a little more exposure. So therefore, a little more exposure is always, always helpful. So therefore, yeah, Evil Land is definitely going to be on my um, LP list. I'm going to make it part of my LP list. Because, hey, this is something that I can say, this needs a sequel. This definitely needs a sequel because it is a very good game. And if I skipped over a game, it's this game. Dust and Illusion Tale, I will most likely do this game. Kind of reminds me of Okami for the, for the Wii and the PS2. So I will definitely consider doing this. Possibly... Possibly after AX. And of course, you know, AX 2014, I plan to definitely get a few videos in there. And of course, you'll see the same thing. Um, maybe, maybe not. Who knows about 2014? I might have, I might have a companion go with me. I don't know. I mean, if, if, if that happens, God be willing. Shit. <sighs> Alright, next on my LP list that I possibly, more than likely, will be willing to do and possibly be happy to do, Fable 3. Now I know what you're wondering, Fable 3 wasn't as good as the first two. However, I plan to change that because just because the game wasn't as, just because a game isn't as good, a, just because... A sequel, I should say, is not as good as the games before it are. To air as human. But forgiveness is divine. And I want to set the record straight. I played through Fable 3 on the 360. And really, it's, it's like one of those games that... Basically, I just sat there for I just sat there for a solid eight hours. I've never done that in a long ass. I have never in a, a long while actually sat through a game for eight hours and me just going through it, just playing it with such with such um focus and attention. I've never done that in a while for any game. The last time I've actually done that, I was a I was a teenager, and the last good game I've actually played was last of the Final Fantasy games before before the jump to say uh, 11, 12, and 11, 12, and onward to now. So mind you, going back to seven is probably the only game that will kind of remind me of. Better times with Final Fantasy. 
Let's see. Uh, costume crash already been done, so I don't really, I don't really have to do that. Audio surf, I don't know. I haven't. I, I'm considering doing. Is he sings on it? You know, you know, I don't know. I'm considering singing with audio surf, but then again, I might possibly be hit by some stupid ass copyright bullshit. Like I've been hit with copyright before. And you know, time after time again, like, oh, well, you know, you have to, you have to acknowledge, I'm like, acknowledge what? The fact that I'm just singing. Copyrights, man, copyrights. Another game that we haven't done in a while is Alien Swarm. Alien Swarm is one of those games that you have to have really good teamwork. You have to have really, really good teamwork in order to survive Alien Swarm. I mean, it, 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 it's kind of like a picture torchlight, torchlight two. Uh, yeah, picture torchlight two. And there you go. It, it's kind of like torchlight two, almost. Akinero Demon Hunters. I plan to. Yeah, there we go. Akinero Demon Hunters. I plan to more more than likely try to do it if, if not for anything else. You know, just. The game is good, but, you know, it, it's one of those games that don't require any kind of achievements. You're just basically doing this game for the hell of it, you know. And it's one of those games that I kind of got on, on a whim because, you know, I like a, a Japanese storyline sometimes. Age of Booty, of course, is another one of those glog type of games. And, um... Age of Booty is really just a pirate game, a, a, a map-style pirate game in which all you're doing is, well, just going through, just going through um, battle. That's all it is. That's all it is. I mean, really, that's <laughs> pretty much the, that's all it, it ever is going to be. But you know. That goes without saying. So, in that case, what we're going to do right now is we are actually going to go to Steam. And I'm going to my Steam right now. And as you see, yeah, I'm actually going to go to my wish list and show you exactly my wish list. I know, I know, I'm going to get a lot of flack for this, but I don't give a damn. I'm going to show, first off, let me show my recommend recommendations about the, the games I've actually played for, for some time. This one was about costume quests, and, and I'm just going to read this off to you, because this was a request... By, uh, this was a request by, of course, Sheena Marie Bach. Yet there are a couple of requests done that asked by her. Suggested that I do these just because, you know, it's fun, sim simple, and not too taxing. So, therefore, I'm just going to read this off. All right, so I finished this game, and I'm happy to say that I really enjoyed this from start to finish. The combat system feels a lot like the Paper Mario series. So, time attacks were pretty simple to figure out on the fly. The costume battles made me think of Ultraman in a way, except that our heroes didn't need a beta castle to grow. And well, one long game. The trek felt the trek itself felt like it was done. I mean, considering that what I did was 100% blind run, and it was, and just kept going with it. Well, it brought the kid in me, brought the kid out in me. And this game was real was really. And experience. I'd say get this game for those who want a good laugh and something that makes us all remember the good old days of Halloween and the sheer reason that we all want it for that day was candy! So at this point in time, go check out my LP of it over on my channel and enjoy it. I'll be taking the rest of the day off, which I did. Tenkai Muso! Another, another game that I also that I also did and I can just say, 
I really enjoyed was Tita Moon. This game was a suggestion to me, and so I bought after and after playing it. You pretty much forget that it is a game. You get drawn to a very deep emotional story about love, hardship, and following your dreams. Now, it does have some funny moments, but there are times that you need a good story, and it stops you for a moment in time. Just so you can find some part of you, you had, that you hadn't felt or seen in a long time. Like a long lost relative, childhood sweetheart, sweetheart, or a best friend. I can truly say that I can appreciate something like this. I'd say this, if you're looking for an emotionally driven story, buy it! They have the OST, which I also say buy it if you enjoy the music. But for what I bought it for, it is worth trying out for yourself. And I have to, and I have to agree with you about what I said because Storytron, Storytron games are very rare. You know, in this day and age in which you know you have people who are so into Call of Duty and whatnot, they kind of overlook. The tiniest, simplest things, and that that makes you less of a person just to do that. Like you, you overlook the small things. This this game, even though it was this game, even though it, it felt like it was a 16-bit game, it was a 16-bit. It, it felt like it was a 16-bit era game. But you know the story, the story itself was. I'll admit, I did cry at the very end of it. I just didn't... I just didn't really, you know, let it be known that I was crying. But I really was crying at the very end of the of the game. Because I really did... I really did have tears in my eyes when I... When I was, um... Doing this game, and, um... I... That, that's the reason why I kind of felt choked up. Because I got I got real quiet because I really was crying at the time, so I can really say it's a good it's a it's a damn good game if if it can draw if it can draw out your emotions like that it's a real damn good game I'm not gonna lie it's a damn good game if it can really make you cry like that so yeah it's it's just one of those games that just basically say feel. Okay, another game that I also that I also was doing that I also did, and like I said, I I just felt drawn by this game. Is Origins, and you're wondering why I'm going through all this because I don't really do I don't really show off I don't really show off this this plethora of games and talk about them like I'm talking about them now. Okay. Ease Origins. This game was sent to me by a wonderful friend of mine, Ryu. And let me tell you that this game is worth buying. Now, yes, I recommend that you try Overfell Ghana just to test the waters, but this game is for those who want to know the backstory behind it all. Despite it being set in the Tower of Solomon, not Salman, because Legacy of Ease basically has the Tower of Salmon. Not Solomon. Like Solomon. Like the fish. It has plenty of replayability. And each character has their own speed and attack power. So choose carefully and go for it. There will be times where you'll need to consult an FAQ to track your progress. Because backtracking is involved. And you'll be doing a lot of that to move forward. Is it worth trying out for yourself? Well, you be the judge and find out. And I gotta say, I have tried this game. This game is awesome. This game is going to be worth something when I actually go forth and LP it when, I fit, when I'm when i done with everything else. This is like one of those promise games that I said I was going to do. And this is going to be a promise game that I am going to do. And the previous one that I did try, but I said, you know what? I'll let you have this one. 
is the Oath of Felgana, otherwise known as on the Super Family Com and the Sega Genesis Wanderers from East. East has always been a classic to many fans of the JRPG JRPG genre. You have an unforgettable tale of adventure with the main hero Otto Christian and his pal Dogi. And this tale being a reimagining of the classic Wanderers from East, in which there is a in which there is an achievement called Wanderers from East. Just a bit of a twist. With new magic spells, added skills, and added extra challenges, it gives the player many a replay to look forward to. Now mind you, if you're not into ARPGs or JRPGs, action RPGs, that's what ARPGs I call it. Action RPGs or JRPGs. JRPGs, of course, are Japanese RPGs. This might not be for you, but if you are looking... I should have said, but if you are or looking... Oh if you are or looking for a challenge yeah that's right but if you are or looking for a challenge well this game suits you with one and it does it does it can be beaten just like the time uh, just like the time um that costume question you know it's, it's it's like a five six hour game you can beat it it can you can beat it in one setting it can be done it can be done because i've done it with origin I done it with East Origin. Yeah, it can be done. Trust me, it can be done. So, we're done with the recommended. So let's go into what I have on my wish list because I know there are gonna be words about the shit I have on my wish list. Don't judge me. I know y'all have a stranger taste than I. So respect what I have. Okay, on my wish list, I have 17 of these crazy motherfuckers. I'm not sure if I'll get every one of them, but I know I'm going to be moving stuff around. Possibly by the time I get back from vacation, just move stuff around, take some games off it, and just replace them with what I have. And, you know, that sort of thing. So, on the top, yes, I'm going to start from the top. And all the way from the bottom. Again. Don't judge me for what I'm about to do. This is something that I plan to branch out more of because, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still of the old school, but I like to sample a bit of the new school every now and then. So therefore, just makes me well rounded, makes me break out the shell, and just like, okay, it's okay. There you go. I'm gonna push you out in the water, and there you go. I'm gonna be holding your hand the entire time. Don't worry. So anybody don't like it, they will get bitch. They will get, they will get bitch slapped really hard, like in Silent Dragon. Number one, of course, is Adventure Time Explorer Dungeon because I don't know. No, really, that's the title that they gave it, and um, I'll just be honest. I'm I've only watched the series a few times. I could never get into the series because I don't know it, it it has a strange humor to it and I really can't get into it I mean I'm not, I don't hate the show I just I'm really not into it it's just like uh and I don't see why people like it but you know different strokes for different folks I guess like I said I plan to play this game so you know when when I when I get the money, I'm probably gonna buy half of what's on, on this list or so. Depends. I'm just not going to buy. Oh, you got this one. Uh, number two, Pac-Man and Ghostly Adventures. Yes, this is based off the new show that is on Disney XD. Now, of course, this Pac-Man is different because it is teenage Pac-Man. It's not the Pac-Man we know and love. It's the Pac-Man. That's growing up into the Pac-Man we know and love. That's what it is. So Pac-Man and Ghost Adventures is basically told the story of Pac-Man's adventures of his teenage life. And he's trying to find his missing parents with the help of Spiral and Cylindria and Circumference. 
and of course the um, mayor, of, uh, the uh, the mayor or the president, uh, the president elect, uh, President Spiros. Um, yes, yeah, so I have been watching this series, and of course, um, I, I like it. I like it. It's like a, you know, it's Pac-Man with backstory. It's really good. And he's going to be fighting against um, the ghost monsters and their leader, Betrayus. So, therefore, I'm not sure if all the characters are, are going to be in the game, but it'd be interesting if they were. Uh, next. I'm just going to just scroll down a bit. Agoras Gener Generations of War. Again, don't knock me because I have a thing for. I have a thing for strategy games. So therefore, it's a strategy game. I plan to get it. I know there are a 360 version of it, but I'm slowly turning into a PC gamer. So I'm on. I mean, hell, I'm on here more than I'm on here more than I'm on my um, consoles. So then there's, then there's that, and I really need to remember to fix my Wii's time. Because of um, Daylight Savings time, I really have to fix up every time. I am the freaking Chrono Trigger! Which I probably will do in the far, far future. So yeah, Agress War, that's going to be... Yeah. So again, don't judge me for trying out a game. You know, if it's not for you, don't worry about it. Otherwise, you know... You know, this is content. This is just fresh, freshly made content for those who actually give a damn about what I'm going to do. It's, gonna, it's just, it's just going to be, a, you know, something that, you know, requires, requires me to, you know, get to, like, doing something that isn't related to Fire Emblem. One can only hope. Lego Marvel Superheroes, of course, I am going to possibly get that. Um, uh, if not, if if not, um, if not next, uh, well, I'm definitely going to get it next year because I don't, I don't feel like I'll say, oh, you know, say like, yeah, but everybody else is doing it, just like Pokemon X and you know, Lego Marvel Superheroes, everybody is freaking doing it. I know David the Usher doing it, but you know it's like, oh, everybody's doing this. I'm like, okay, I'm going, I'm going to back away from the first players and everything else, and just like, mm-hmm, you do that. I'm not into the popular games. Okay. I mean, if I do them, it's only because I like the series. Fuck y'all. That's the only reason. I'm just doing it because I like the series. I don't need to be reminded of who does what. <laughs> I don't care about who does what. It's like, okay, the only people that I should care about are, uh, are the RCO. That's the only thing. I don't really give a care about who, who does what and what and what not. And, uh, uh, I shouldn't say, I shouldn't, I don't care about who, who else is doing it. I mean, there are some LPRs I don't mind watching. Like, Half Blind Gamer. I, do, I, I don't mind watching his stuff because his stuff is good. Franco Mag, his stuff is good too. Corn Shack, his stuff is good too, but you know, like I said, I don't really watch that many LPs, and if I do, they're like the lesser known variety or the or the very interesting ones that I won't, that I don't mind watching. That includes the people in the R and that includes the people in the RCO. So in and out of the RCO, I will watch just because I find it interesting. What they do is interesting, and I'm hoping that the stuff I do is just as interesting as anybody else. I'm not doing it just because, you know, I'm doing it for subs. No, if you like it, that's good. If you don't like it, move on. You don't have to insult me or belittle me. You're just belittling yourself. Uh, I had to say it. I had to get it off my chest. Had to. Next one is The Wolf Among Us. I don't know why, but... If it's something crime noir style, I'm going to get drawn into it. It's kind of like Dick Tracy. I'm into a good detective story. I need a little I need a little something different. You know, I need to throw something a little different on my table. You know, just to show, oh, this is this is what I'm doing. 
Hey, there you go. I mean, that's going to be really interesting when I'm doing something like this. You know, it's like, well, why are you doing this? I need to branch out. I need to branch out. I need to, you know, every so often I want to show something different because there is, you know, there's, there are good games coming out all the time. Some games more likable than others. And I don't really like doing the popular games because, you know, I want to stay different. And of course, different is fine because, you know, different is fine because, you know, you should respect being different. Different is good. Different is okay. And that's one thing we should respect. As gamers, we're all different. We play different games. We don't have to be like the same. We don't have to be like the rest. Like, oh, this is my first play. No, there's no such thing as the first play. This is your playthrough. But it's not your first play. First play would mean you got it straight off the market. And then you're just running it after getting the permissions and whatnot to say, oh, it's okay for me to do this. But yeah, a lot of games that I plan to do here, I'm going to continue to tell you about. Another game that I might consider doing. And only because it looks good. I'm just going to scroll it down here. Is Valdez Story Abyssal City. I have no clue how it's going to turn out. But um, I plan to I plan to get this game sometime in the future. It's a platformer. And hopefully it's a good one. Quite possibly it might be a... Weekend thing. I, I might drink. I might bring back the weekend out, please. Like do something short and fast, and you know, knock it out. Just say, "Oh, it's done." Boom, like that. Raise the dead. Uh, it's it's not new. It, it's it's not available yet. It on Steam. So, I I seen what's like. It's 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 like Pikmin. It's kind of like Pikmin, but with zombies. That's all I can say. It's kind of like Pikmin, but with zombies. So that's gonna be that's gonna be kind of fun because I haven't done something like um, something like a Legion game. I'm gonna call it that. It's a Legion game. You lead a Legion to do your bidding. So that's all it is. It's just a Legion game. Um, Audio Surf Two, of course. That's something that I possibly will get again for my free time, possibly for for my. My as he sings thing, whatever. If if I decide to do, if I decide to go that course, like I said, I haven't done I haven't done that in a while, because I don't know. Maybe some of you kind of enjoy that. I don't know. I haven't heard a jack shit about you know, about the last the last songs I've been doing. So, like I said, I I, I just been busy with everything else. So it's like. Uh, yeah. If I find time to sit down and just sing a song and not get hit with copyrights, I'd be I'd be all right. I think that's the only reason why I stopped. I got hit by copyrights. <clears throat> so you can tell. And I definitely need to get myself a new chair. Okay, I had this chair for two years. I I think it's time for me to get a brand new one. All right, next. It's Shadow Warrior. Shadow Warrior is, of course, to me, it's like Red Steel. And if it's and if it plays like Red Steel, you know I'm gonna be playing the fuck out of it, because Red Steel is a pretty damn awesome game for Wii, and I only have Red Steel Two, not Red Steel One. But still, if I can play it like if I can play it like Red Steel, that's not a problem. Dragon Age Origins, oh dear lord. When I get around to do Dragon Age, holy shit, that's gonna be something. Because there's a lot, and I do mean a lot, of stuff that you can actually do. Kind of like, kind of like a Fable 3, but 
My god, there, there's a lot of stuff you can cover in Dragon Age Origins, and I can tell you, it ain't going to be a 100% run. I can tell you that right now. I'm going to tell you, it's not going to be 100% run, so therefore, <sighs> that's going to be a big one. That's going to be a big one. I ain't gonna be, I ain't gonna lie, that's gonna be a big one. Possibly by then it's like, oh, I will have a different, I will have a different setup of games when, when, um, when that happens. The Last Remnant, I don't know, I've heard, I've heard people kind of like mixed bag. They don't know what to do, they don't know the good or the bad, they're just like, well, it sucks and it doesn't suck or, you know, I've, but the only thing I can say is, well, the only way I know it's a good game is if I play it for myself, and I'm not listening to any reviewers, I just play it for myself and just see how it runs. <sighs> Next one, Strong Baz. Strong Bad, Episode 1, Homestar Ruiner. Yes. Yeah, Derp is going to be involved. Derp is definitely going to be involved. I know I'm going to get words. I'm... I'm just going to... I'm just going to say this. I need at least one game to derp myself on. You know, I need just one game, which doesn't make no goddamn sense whatsoever. Apparently, I have two. And I plan to do both of them when I feel the need arises. And there goes my watch. It's 1.30. And I'm still recording this shit. Moving on. The last of the last of my... Of the last of my, um... List. <sighs> There's another big one. Borderlands 2. Borderlands 2, I can tell you right now... I mean, you think Borderlands One was gonna be cra gonna be crazy? Borderlands Two was just gonna be nuts. I mean, they changed up everything, so therefore, new story, it's a continuation of the first one, and holy shit, it's gonna be fun. Okay, another one. Following that one, Sleeping Dogs. I'm blaming Mac for this one. I'm really going to play Mac for this one because this game basically caught my interest. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just something about this game that kind of gets me to actually want to play the living hell out this game. Because it doesn't feel like Grand Theft Auto. And if it does, I'm going to ignore the fact that it is kind of better than Grand Theft Auto. Because I'm, I'm kind of sick and tired of hearing people praise GTA. I was like, all it is is a freaking sandbox game. You're just running around doing shit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But it's like, you're just doing the same damn thing. But Sleeping Dogs, there's something different about this. And I don't know what it is, but it's a good kind of something different. And more than likely... I don't know. I, I see myself doing it for some apparent reason. Maybe because I want to break out of the mold of, you know, maybe I, I just want to stop hearing about how great uh, Saints Row or GTA is. I'm kind of tired of hearing that shit. So, you know, if I do something different, that that is definitely going to be something different because, you know, like I said, I'm breaking the mold. I'm slowly getting out of, you know, I'm slowly just kind of like expanding. So, therefore... If I expand, I want my viewers to know, you know, this is what I plan to do. Because, you know, you know, you know it's, it's, you know, I, I really want to not be, you know, so secretive about what I'm going to do next. You know, because I, I, I just want to share what I, what I plan to do. And, you know, if it happens, you know, it's going to happen. Just kind of be patient with me because I'm not going to do like, oh, all these games are going to be, these games are going to be like every once in a while, not like, oh, it's going to be, oh, you're going to do this, this over and over again, like, no, I, all these games that I'm showing you is going to be every once in a while, but they will be done. Ah, 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Battle Toads. I mean, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Out of the Shadows. I don't know. I, I'm, I, I look at them, I just say, oh god, they look like Battle Toads. They look like freaking Battle Toads if Michael Bay touched one hand on their slimy little heads. Just like, Michael Bay just touched Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You're now battle toads. Enjoy. You are now full battle toads. What are you gonna do about Splinter? Boosh. Oh, no change. April. Boosh. No change. Oh. Casey Jones. Boosh. No change. We're just gonna make you four motherfuckers the most. Uh, we're gonna make you four motherfuckers into the most ugliest ass things ever known. By man. And nobody's going to like your ass. Afterwards. I, I, I saw it. I'm like. <laughs> but apparently if I play this game. I'm going to play this game. With a zen mind. And just say. Oh god. If this happens. Dear lord. It's just going to happen. <sighs> Let's see. Brutal legend. I'm never. This is one that is basically just going to let the wild child out. That is definitely going to be a dark, easy game. <laughs> the wild child is definitely going to come out on that game. Just like, I'm sorry, but it's not going to be regular me like you know and love. It's just going to be the dark side. He's going to have his fun with that. So, therefore, yeah, the dark side is definitely going to have his, his share of fun with that. Um... Yeah, it's going to be like heavy metal and, and rock and roll and all that shit. So I'm hoping like it doesn't blow the roof off my, my house or some shit like that. It'd be crazy if it does like... Oh, I'm sorry. Plus it has Jack Black in it, so Jack Black, is, Jack Black to me is cool people. I mean, he's, fucking he's part of fucking Tenacious D, goddammit. Tenacious D is a good group. I listen to rock sometimes when it, when the need arises. But Tenacious D is cool with me. I'm cool with Tenacious D. Their music is pretty awesome. Funny as hell, but pretty awesome. And last but not least, on my 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 wish list is. On Amisha 3 Demon Siege. I'm going to tell you why. On Amisha 3. Isn't as bad as the last two On Amisha games. I'm not going to count um, the fourth one. Because I've never played the fourth one. But On Amisha 3 isn't as bad as. The last couple of games. Because. Last couple of games. I'm going to be perfectly damn honest. I hated the puzzles in Onimation 1 and 2. I hated the slider puzzle and, and I hated the slider puzzle in 1. Because if you didn't do it in time, you drown. I didn't like the um I didn't like the um what was it, the last puzzle before going to the final area? I didn't like the hanger. Because the hanger requires you to use both analogs. And you had to do it in a certain order. You had to do it left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. In that order. And if you fuck up one time, you're screwed. So I really, I, I couldn't stand, I really couldn't stand that. Because my fingers always cramped at that one point. On Amish 3 though, uh, On Amish 3, I don't know, it's, it's pretty good. Plus it has John Reno. And, um, I forgot his name. I mean, it has freaking... I mean, it's like this. You have Japan and you have French. And you're fighting freaking Nobunaga Oda. Shit. Can't, you can't get any better than that. You really can't. You really can't. But yeah. I mean, I'm going to do Simon Says over a slider puzzle any day. As long as it doesn't go beep, 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 beep. I said, that's fine. 
That's fine. But like I said, when the time comes when I get all these games, that's, it's going to take a while because there are games that I'm going to take off my desktop. You won't see it, but there will be a change by possibly next year or sometime down the line of next year. But otherwise... Yeah, that's all I that's all I'm showing since it is part of part of my um Steam collection. Those are the games that I plan to do. So with that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this video on a good note. And of course, I hope you will be enjoying these games as much as I will be enjoying playing them. And remember that I that I welcome all all sorts of feedback. Just don't belittle me and say that I suck as a gamer because there are people much worse than I, and I do not and I do not have to require 100 percent. I do not require 100 percent to be you know a gamer. I have to have I have to have a slight bit of intelligence to know where the fuck I'm going. So you don't hear me say, oh, welcome back to, ah, uh, and we're supposed to, ah, uh, you know, have to have some character and personality, you know, to carry, to carry yourself throughout, throughout the rest of the way, yeah? So with that, folks, I know it's a long ass, long, 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 long video, but I hope you can understand, I'm hoping this, I'm hoping that every bit of wording that came out throughout the entirety of this video came out okay. So with that, with those who are kind of sh short, um, patient, please, please, please be patient. In any case, uh, yeah. The next time we will see each other, I will be doing a lot of more videos. Possibly have something done or finished. Or possibly something old, something new, something... Something borrowed, something blue. I don't give a fuck. I just... I just want to play a game. So I hope you've been enjoying the madness that I have been imparting to you people. And I shall see you soon with more videos. So until then, I have been the Tenkai Ichi of Gaming, Pookie Izzy7, otherwise known as Ichigo Musko. And I will see you around. Until then, take care, God bless, and of course, Tenkai Muso. The Tenkai Ichi has spoken. And I am out. Later.